So over here you can see that I have this Gantt chart view and the timeline view being shown at the same time. So what you can also do is you can go around and focus on the timeline itself as well. So to do that, you can go to task right here and then you can go around onto the uh, view drop down area and then go around and select out timeline so that you just view the timeline right here. So over here by default, you can see all of the timeline tasks are in a certain view. They are being displayed out as bars as you can see right here. But if you want to display them as callouts, then you can do that as well. So for example, I'm going to go towards shooting and then I'm going to go to timeline format and I'm going to display this as callouts. So you can see that shooting actually uh, goes around onto the top and shows as a callout. So if there's, uh, let's say for example, a main task, then you can show them as a callout and the subtask that you see right here uh, can be displayed as bars for more um, uh, visual distinction as well. So uh, in my case for the shooting, I'm just going to go around and display it as bars and I'm going to go to tasks and then re-enable out the Gantt chart right here. Let me just go around over here onto view and then enable the timeline to get the timeline view as well. So now I have this overall production and then I don't want to add this into the timeline, but I do want to add in the production processes right here, like pre-production, pro uh, production and post-production onto the timeline. So I'm just going to select this and then add this to timeline. Right click, add this to timeline and then right click and add this to timeline, right click and add this to timeline right here. So you got the uh, pre-production, production and post-production in the timeline as well. And pre-production is the main um, component right here, uh, which has a brainstorming storyline and then script and storyboard as subtasks right here. So what I want to do is I want to turn pre-production, production and post-production as um, uh, callouts. I want to display them as callouts. So I'm going to select this and if I were to click on display as callouts, now you can see the pre-production as callout right here. Similarly, I'm going to go around and display this as callout and then I'm going to go around and display post-production as callout as well. So now you can see a visual distinction. So you can see that this is the pre-production part right here and these are the subtasks as you can see right here. Then you got the production right here, which is happening right around over here. And then you got the post-production right here being displayed out as callouts as you can see right here. So if I want to add in, let's say, overall production as well, I can simply go ahead and add it to timeline. And you can see that that is added onto the timeline as well. And then I'm going to go around and click on display as callouts. And then overall production uh, is added in over there as well. But I don't want this, so I'm just going to go around and remove them from timeline. And you can see that that has been removed. And that is how you can display timeline tasks um, tasks as bars or callouts as per how you like inside of Microsoft Project. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.